Uh, Chris Chinock for Display Central in the Barco booth here at Infocom 2014. Uh, what we're looking at here are two uh, projectors, uh, two brand new projectors that they've just launched. Uh, these are the 4K, uh, uh, 35K models that offer uh, native uh, DCI 4K resolution of 4096 by 2160. Uh, these put a, uh, use a 6.5 uh, kilowatt lamp, um, and um, uh, they're showing it. There's two of them there because they're uh, they're showing a blended application on the screen uh, in back of us here. Uh, that's very, very nice, of course. And uh, running this thing is their new, uh, brand new uh, E2 processor, uh, the Encore processor, uh, which is uh, kind of their workhorse platform for live events. Uh, they've now upgraded this for uh, 4K support. Uh, and so one uh, boss can now support uh, actually two 4K uh, pallets. So you, the that one E2 processor is running these two, uh, two projectors to create that, uh, that blended image. Uh, th those are kind of the important news in the, uh, in the projection space. Oh, actually, there's one more product we'll, we'll take a look at next. Uh, in fact, uh, let's go take a look at it. This is an interesting new product from Barco. And what you're looking at here is a uh, it's a mirror rig, basically, that sits on top of their uh, almost any Barco projector, and it allows the output of the uh, of the projector to be steered off this uh, front surface mirror. Uh, so you can kind of beam this uh, the image anywhere around a, a room, a stadium, a venue, uh, and uh, th there's two versions of this. Uh, one comes with the integrated media server, that big uh, big box below the mirror, uh, and one without it. And you might want to use the one with the, uh, the integrated media server because uh, it can apply uh, keystone correction and other corrections to the image uh, as this uh, mirror scans around the room. Now, th this doesn't seem like such an, uh, an innovation, but it actually is. And according to Barco, this product's creating maybe the most buzz in their, uh, in their suite uh, this year. Uh, and the reason is, uh, prior to this, uh, if you wanted to slew a projector around a venue, you had to put it in a the, the entire projector uh, inside a yoke, uh, and those uh, those yokes are kind of slow to respond. They're not very accurate, uh, and you if you're moving a big, uh, heavy projector, you got to put it in an even bigger and heavier uh, yoke. Uh, so while possible, it's never been a very elegant solution. Uh, so this is uh, far more elegant, uh, and in fact, I'm told that the accuracy of this mirror is so good that if you're actually blending two of these projectors, uh, it's accurate enough to, to maintain the blend uh, as you swivel this thing around and, and come back in alignment for the, for the blended image. Uh, so what are some of the applications they're talking about? Well, imagine mounting uh, this projector kind of flat uh, above a stadium. Let's think about a basketball stadium. Uh, then you have a mirror that can project an image onto the, onto the court. So you have a... a, a um, uh, a referee break and you put some images on the court. Uh, the action starts, you slew the mirror back up and now you can put it onto screens that are up uh, further up in the stadium walls. And in fact, you can kind of move that image around to various screens around the, around the stadium walls. Uh, so it provides some interesting applications and, and creativity uh, for folks as, uh, as well. Uh, so I think this is going to be available soon. I haven't, they haven't talked about price points yet. Um, but it also, oh, another important point is, is control of this. Um, you can use it, uh, control it from your DMX uh, lighting panel, uh, or there are apps that you can control it just like any um, remote. You can use the remote control from Barco to, con con to control it, uh, or there are apps that you can download to your smartphone or tablet to, uh, to control it as well. So very, uh, very versatile and flexible. Let's go take a look at their LED products. This is the live dots part of the uh, Barco booth here at Infocom. Uh, what we're looking at here is an LED display. This is a prototype uh, using 1.6 millimeter uh, devices, LED devices. And this is a very impressive uh, looking display. Um, you can actually feel the heat uh, coming off this thing, however. It is, uh, it is quite warm. Uh, they haven't talked about uh, pricing it, but uh, this should be available toward the, uh, toward the end of the year and will come with or without their Infinity uh, Pixel processor. 
uh, and they've uh, actually said they put a lot of effort into that Infinity uh, uh, processor uh, to be able to deliver the good, consistent, uh, high-quality, colorful images, uh, as you can see here. Um, the, uh, actually, this will be a product in Q4 this year, it looks like. Uh, power consumption, full white, is about 600 watts uh, per square meter. Uh, so when kind of an average uh, picture scene that's uh, 350 watts uh, per square centimeter or so in that in that range. So that's that's still a fair amount of power. And what we're looking at here is probably about uh, six square meters. So uh, that's why it feels a little warm when you get close to it. And that's the uh, that's pretty much the highlights of the uh, Barco suite here at uh, Infocom 2014.